Poets often describe love as an emotion that we can't control, one that overwhelms logic and common sense. That's what it was like for me. I didn't plan on falling in love with you, and I doubt if you planned on falling in love with me. But once we met, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But once we met, it was clear that neither of us could control what was happening to us. We fell in love, despite our differences. And once we did, something rare, <laughs> something rare and beautiful was created. For me, love like that has only happened once. And that's why every minute we spent together has been seared in my memory. I'll never forget the single moment of it. Oh, <laughs> preparing my speech I came across a quote and the quote says sometimes you meet someone and it's so clear that you're supposed to belong together on some level and Nick and I didn't mean to fall in love but it happened and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me so that made me believe in something it made me believe that it's possible to find somebody who can love you unconditionally despite your impatience and extreme stubbornness, they put your own happiness before theirs every day. So coming back to the original quote, I don't know whether I struck lucky or whether fate played a part, but either way, I'm very glad of the day that Nick walked into the Manor Academy. <laughs> what you trying to do with a face like that? Always going up for something. Why you going up for nothing? When we got engaged only 16 months ago, I wasn't sure what would happen next. Would we spend the next weeks and months looking for wedding venues and taking our time, costing everything up and saving for years? But by that weekend, we'd got eight venues to look around and by Saturday morning had already stopped looking after the first three and decided this was the place. But it's gone so quickly and I can't believe we are stood here already, but then I remember how quickly I felt for Paula too. <laughs> you were maybe a little bit more patient that time. And how much we've packed into such a short amount of time. They don't ever see you like Joined together, just husband and wife. I wanna love no filter. See what you see in the mirror. Nobody else is there with you. But take our time. I wanna love you, no filter. I wanna get a bit real. Let everyone think that they see you. If you don't mind, I wanna love you. People don't often believe this. That when I said me and Paula met, she was my boss, but once they've met her, they can certainly, certainly see that she's definitely my boss. She looks absolutely amazing today um, from every single angle, and it's so nice. It, like, it's true. Got everyone thankful, showing the mangoes, but I want to know who you are when there's no one down the aisle to Aretha Franklin, Natural Woman. And I chose that song because there's a particular line in the song. It says, before the day I met you, life was so unkind. You're the key to my peace of mind. That just singular line in that song just epitomizes how much you've changed my life for the better. So thank you. <laughs>
I'm proud to stand next to someone who always pushes himself to their best, has pushed me to achieve more than anything I'd ever imagined. I'm really proud every time I watch her play netball, whether it's at regional level. Again, I don't know if she's mentioned how Paula plays a lot of high level netball. Most of all, I'm proud to be with her, to be married to the person I absolutely love spending all my time with, um, so therefore I'd like to give one big toast to Paula.